Welcome back. Uh, Wednesday morning here on Squawk Asia. We're back with uh, Yudi Chang from Ace Investment Strategist. Uh, Yudi, you know the market, uh, the Dow at least, up six for seven. Uh, we're also seeing uh, a risk on sort of attitude uh, uh, reflected in what's going on with dollar. It's on the back foot. Uh, oil is up big, 3%. Gold's up 2%. You know, all that seems to jive with the exception Fed Fund's futures pricing in uh, the likelihood of rate hikes. They didn't budge at all. So what does that tell you? You know, basically the risk trade is on, right? So that's the key word. Uh, uh, basically, they're saying this. Don't forget, the Fed is still saying that the money is too cheap for these banks to take and make money with. So that's why they may raise a little bit of rates, but it doesn't mean that they'll raise the rates substantially higher. I think it's like you said, basically, the European crisis looks like it's stabilized a little bit. So all attention is back onto earnings now. Like you were saying a little bit earlier, uh, to kicking off this earnings season, things are pretty good. So the risk trades are back on. That's why oil's going higher, metal's going higher, and the stock market is going higher again. All right. Why is the market thinning out so much, though? Over the last, I don't know, what is it, one or one or two sessions, uh, you know, volumes have been the thinnest we've seen so far this year. Yeah. Ever since I think before the Fourth of July uh, weekend the uh, volume on the market has thinned out a little bit. I think partially it's because of people uh, want to sit out these uh, uncertainties. So that's why also, don't forget, on the other side, people are saying uh, betting, or not betting, but pretty much questioning this move upwards. Uh, but if you think about it also, Martin, the market since April on the U.S. basis has dropped about 16 percent, right? So even after the past six sessions, uh, I think it's back up about seven and a half percent. So basically, you only recovered about 38 percent of the drop. So uh, whether we're really going back for a bull market or not still remains to be seen. With all these question marks in our minds, it was interesting to see a heavy put buying was detected in one particular exchange traded fund. Uh, you, do you also taking protection in this market, protecting against the downside? Absolutely. I think uh, uh, I would say about 30% of what we do, we do take protection. And one of the strategies that we do, you know, we're a true believer in picking individual stocks uh, in various sectors buying dips, selling rally. But in the meantime, we also sometimes like to uh, sell options or color or so-called bracketing the entire market because we believe on an intermediate term basis, the market is not going to go anywhere. If you look at it, guys, uh, look at where the market is right now. Market is exactly where it was back in November of last year. Actually, as a matter of fact, the market is exactly where it was back in 1998. We believe we're in the secular bear market. We are going to have ups and downs, but basically we're not going to go anywhere. Yudi, what's your sense of the data? Because we really seem to be getting some consistently uh, disappointing reads with some of the key metrics. The latest, of course, is the deficit in May uh, blowing out there to an 18-month high. That must give you room for a fair degree of caution. Yeah, I think the degree of caution survey is like was more than that. Basically, the, the weak real estate market in the U.S. Uh, that's why we keep saying. I think economically we are in a very acceptable recovery, right? Two, three percent GDP is not bad. However, politically, with these unemployment numbers, is just unacceptable. So from there, you have the housing, you have the consumer confidence. There's many things. That's why we believe the market is not going to go straight up or straight down for that matter. We're going to continuously be dealing with these uncertainties. On one hand, earnings are respectable. On the other hand, there are so many pitfalls still left, uh, still, uh, still with the uh, a debt crisis, still with unemployment, maybe with uh, geopolitical concerns. A lot of pitfalls still left. That's why we believe market is going to chop up and down with cyclical bulls and cyclical bears. Mm. Marty's calling the long goodbye here. Tra I tend to be a pessimist. <laughs> Trade the ranges anyway. Thanks for joining us. Judy Chang, Principal yeah. and Chief Advisor at Ace Investment Strategists. Coming up, Intel blows...